Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Margarita here from the Blonde Avenue. For those who know me, welcome back. And for those who don't, I so hope that you have clicked on this video because you're an Hermes fan. But also, I want you to know that on this channel, I review a lot of Hermes things and we talk a lot about luxury fashion and Hermes, but I also let you into my life. So you can come in, meet my mum, meet my cat. It's a beautiful British short hair that I have. Actually, I've got two. So he's under my seat right now having a nap. As soon as he emerges, I will bring him out and show him to you in all his glory. But yes, that is my channel. So please subscribe if you want to follow my journey and my luxury fashion love. And uh, also, I'm missing a thumbnail. So don't judge me, but wait. Okay, but subscribe and turn on the notification bell because that allows you to know when I post a video. Why is that important? Because YouTube does this thing that if I post a video and you guys watch it straight away, it means that the video gets ranked higher, it means my channel does better, and it means that I can upload and record more because I feel more confident in the videos being seen human psychology, quite basic. The reason for my thumbnail is, thumbnail? <laughs> the reason for my thumbnail being missing is these are actually my real nails. I get SNS, and s um, and this one broke when I was trying to either open a door, a can of cat food, or something practical and reasonable, and it broke. So yeah, other things that you might wanna know, this dress is from Tallulah Maison. I'll try and link it in the link below, or I'll put their Instagram. Uh, secondly, kind of feeling these pearl clips at the moment. Gorgeous, gorgeous pearl clips. It's a thing. And thirdly, we are here today to discuss the Hermes Autumn Winter 2019 leather colors. The reason I'm wearing a red lip right now is because for me, Autumn Winter is all about burgundies and reds and those deep tones. I think what you're gonna find out here, my cat's biting my leg, that's okay. That's okay, just little fangy, little fangy bites. Nothing, nothing to write home about. Let's, without further ado, get into the colors of 2019 that got launched in May for the Hermes leathers, shall we? First things first, Hermes does this thing where it likes to release what I've noticed from my other video, if you haven't seen it, I'll link it up here when I did the 2018 version of this same video. Hermes really likes to bring you a color family. It's like a vibe that they do. And this color family is very muted, autumn wintery, greens and blues. Now, I don't know how many more blues Hermes can do, but they are the king of blue. If you're a fan of them, you will know that they've done the vibrant blues, the crazy blues, the muted blues. And this collection, the five colors in this one, have a lot of those tones. And the second thing I wanna say is Hermes often names their colors, names that really don't look like the name of the color. But the first color that we've got is deep blue. This color, ironically, not so ironically, but this color, wonderfully looks like the color that it's meant to look like. This is an oceanic, deep blue. You are diving, not into a lagoon, you're diving into the deep blue ocean and this is the color you're witnessing. It's scrumptious, it's mysterious, it's deep. It's everything that the ocean uh, is known for when we're looking at the mysteries of the deep blue and the color is written in the English version of deep blue. I will try and say the French versions of the other colors. But this one is literally called deep blue. This color is quite versatile when it comes to wearing it every day. It's not a bright pop of color, but it's again a classic Hermes blue that they're so good at doing. It's super sophisticated. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. It's super sophisticated. It's kind of half masculine, half ladylike, and I would love it in possibly a really structured Kelly. And I think the color would look fantastic in a really strong, structured Epsom Kelly. That's my opinion. The second color we're gonna discuss is Beige de Weimar, which is a color from the gray and beige and taupe color family. It's kind of like a taupe, but it's got a scrumptious spin on it. Beige de Weimar is based on the Weimar dog, which is a 19th century hunting dog, which was used for boars and things like that. And it's got that classic, stunning pelt, sheen, gorgeous beige color. Now, I think 
I haven't seen this color in real life, but to me, it seems like perhaps the prettiest beige that Hermes have ever released. I think it's classic, I think it's country, I think it's beautiful, and I think it really marries with the color of the dog that it's based on. So for me, I'm a massive fan of this color, as am I a fan of the deep blue. And these colors actually look like the colors that they're meant to look like. Now a color that doesn't look like it's meant to look at, look, look like is Vert Amand, which is green almond. Now guys, this color is not green at all from my understanding. In fact, pictures I found online and pictures I've seen, it doesn't look anything. Oh God, look at this. Attention seeking slug. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Woohoo! To me, it's not green at all. I don't understand. Maybe they're thinking if an almond married something green. I don't know the reasoning, and obviously it's not released to the public, but I think it's one of the most stunning bluey greys you could possibly ask for. To me, it kind of looks like if you were on an ocean and you looked out and you saw a cloudy, scrumptious sky and you were just blown away by that kind of like cloud formation. It looks beautifully gray, but I guess maybe it's green because it's got notes of that. And I guess it's almond because it's got maybe some notes of browns in it. Anyway, I don't know, but it's a beautiful color. And this is the color that I probably would actually consider making a purchase in. Cause deep blue to me is a blue. We've seen blue. The um, Vermar color is beautiful but there are greys and taupes, but this color, I've literally never seen anything like it. Maybe that's why they had a strange time calling it green almond, but it is what it is. And I think it's a gorgeous color for an accessory. I think it would work with a beautiful countryside jacket. It would work as an office bag. I don't think it would work as a summer bag, but you know what, who knows? Maybe if you like to wear muted linens, it would look stunning. The fourth color is called Ver Basfor. And listen, this color is a gorgeous deep-ish blue, but with a stunning kind of, um, not depth to it. It's got a, how would I describe it? It's got an oceanic feel, but like a less shallow ocean than the deep blue. It's based on the canals in Turkey. So I suppose if you're flying over those Basfor canals, you will witness this blue. I've got a cobalt blue bag, the ostrich one. I'll link the video here on my channel. And Hermes like to often call their bags after a body of water in a certain place. So this one is Turkish. I spent a lot of my childhood in Turkey. The Turkish waters I remember are crystal clear lagoon style waters, but I think this one, if you're from there or you've been there, could be a really nostalgic piece and it could be something stunning to add to your wardrobe. To me, Verbas 4 has got this kind of um, oceanic but yet natural mineral stone quality to it. So I'm gonna try and insert pictures here so you can judge for yourselves the ones I found online. The last color is called Vert Rousseau. So there's a lot of Vert, a lot of green, a lot of yummy scrumptious greens, which a lot of them don't look green. We've got green almond, we've got green, green basfor, and we've got um, this green. A lot of them don't look green. Maybe it's a thing that they were doing. Maybe green is a vibe at the moment. I love greens, I know that much. Um, this one could either be based on Jean-Jacques Rousseau or it could be based on an artist. Henri or Henry Rousseau, who used to paint a lot of forest scapes, a lot of like um, interpretations of the forest with monkeys and oranges and those deep scrumptious greens. Um, a part of me thinks that probably this is a, a nod to that, um, as I've done other greens based on other painters before, and I'm thinking it's probably that. This green is a deep, forest not natural forest but a deep um imaginary forest green it's a beautiful color it's one that isn't around a lot so i haven't seen it a lot but it's those deep notes of green that you see when you look through the forest and it's mystical it's in the background so i don't know a lot of people love the painter so maybe if you love that and you love a green and you want something that could really match your autumn winter feels for 2019 then go for that guys wait a minute stay there Woo! simon got me some flowers simon's my husband and i'm just trying to immortalize them in the video because you know 
they will die, but this video hopefully will be up for a while. <laughs> so here is the British short hair. Whoosh, whoosh. God, I wanna kiss you with red lipstick. This morning I made yogurt with honey for breakfast with coffee and I turned around and he'd licked the whole yogurt. And then I Googled, can I eat yogurt that has been licked by cat? And it said no everywhere, so I didn't eat the yogurt. So now I'm hungry and I need to go and make some lunch. I'm trying an anti-inflammatory diet uh, recommended to me. You know, good for the joints and good for life and conducive to just being healthy. Let's try and get this video to, I don't know, 2,000 likes, 2,000 thumbs ups. Uh, we get enough viewers about Hermes things, so let's see if we can get this video to 2,000 thumbs up. Then I will know that you guys want me to do chatty Hermes color reviews and maybe their fashion reviews and just talking about my preferences and what I like in their collection. So let's see if we can do that and uh, yeah. I love you lots like jelly tots, guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Thumb up, subscribe, and notification bell on, darling. Mwah.